Ancient Egypt was one of the world's greatest civilizations that lasted almost 3,000 years. There have been fascinating discoveries in Egypt that contributes to a deeper understanding and appreciation of their ancient history. But sometimes archaeologists and scientists come across structures, artifacts, relics, etc. that are inexplicable. Some of these findings are not only strange but are also frightening. Join us in our video today as we bring you some of scientists' terrifying discoveries in the Egyptian pyramids which can't be unexplained. The Great Pyramid is an ancient relic that was built as a monumental tomb for Pharaoh Khufu. It is the only one of the world's seven wonders that has survived till now. The tomb was constructed around 4,500 years ago during Egypt's Old Kingdom period. Over the years, scientists have wondered what could be inside this famous structure. A few years ago, researchers used high-tech devices used initially for only experiments in particle physics. The device scanned the ancient structure's thick stone for particles coming in from space. A previously unknown space or void was discovered during this search. The newly discovered vacuum could form one or more rooms or corridors in the pyramid. However, the researchers are unable to say for certain. The purpose of this emptiness, known as Scan Pyramid's Big Void, is unknown although its dimensions are similar to the Grand Gallery, which leads to what was formerly Pharaoh Khufu's ultimate resting place. The particle detectors only indicated the void's approximate size, not its shape. Learning more about the building of the pyramid will provide new insights into one of the world's largest, oldest, and most iconic monuments. The discovery is expected to aid researchers in better understanding how the gigantic pyramid was constructed. Despite the fact that this discovery offered some light on what might be inside the pyramid, many questions remain unsolved about the structure. Apart from the discovery of the void in the pyramid, scientists are still unsure about the intricacies of what is inside. Most people know that the light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison in the 1800s. Before that, there is no evidence of any society having used the light bulb. However, inscriptions in an ancient Egyptian temple suggest otherwise. Three stone reliefs in the temple depict the figure known as the Denderalite. Inscriptions beneath the Temple of Hathor at Dendera indicate a bulb-like item that has been compared to a crook's tube by some, an early light bulb. A snake creates a wavy line from a lotus flower inside the bulbs, specifically the socket of the bulb. A wire connects the air deity to a little box where he is kneeling. A two-armed jed pillar connected to the serpent stands beside the bulb, as does a baboon holding two knives. Some people believe that these inscriptions are a depiction of modern technology in Egypt. Based on comparisons to similar modern technologies, one fringe hypothesis claims that the reliefs portray ancient Egyptian technology, such as cathode ray tubes, jasor tubes, crooks tubes, and arc lamps. It's worth noting that archaeologists have not discovered any clear electrical items or light bulbs in the thousands of ancient Egyptian sites. There is now no substantial evidence that ancient Egyptians harness the power of electricity. The absence of historical texts detailing the usage of electricity in ancient Egypt, which one would expect to discover if the reliefs showed electrical lamps, is another important argument against the Dendera light idea. This ancient coffin caused a stir when it was discovered a few years ago. A strange black granite coffin unearthed in Alexandria, Egypt. It dates from when Alexander the Great invaded the area in 332 BC. Archaeologists in Egypt found a black granite sarcophagus on a building site in 2018. The huge coffin that was discovered is the biggest stone coffin ever found in the city. Upon discovery, people speculated that the coffin, once opened, would release a curse that could lead to the end of the world. Others also believe that the stone tomb contained a super mummy. When the coffin was opened, three regular human bodies were discovered floating in sewage. One woman and two men were among the dead, which appear to have been dumped at different periods and heaped on top of one another. The presence of a woman in the tomb refutes an earlier theory that the tomb's occupants were soldiers. It was revealed that the wound in that last skeleton's head healed long before the man died. The coffin contained more than just bones. A little gold artifact and three thin gold sheets 
each square etched with a picture, were also discovered. The boat of Pharaoh Khufu was discovered in 1954. It was found in the Great Pyramid's southern corner, also known as the Pyramid of Cheops. It houses King Khufu's tomb and is the largest of the three Giza pyramids. The Pharaoh Khufu ship is an ancient Egyptian solar bark that has been rebuilt. The ship was sunk into a hole at the foot of Pharaoh Khufu's Great Pyramid during the ancient Egyptian Old Kingdom's Fourth Dynasty. It was presumably part of the elaborate grave goods designed for use in the afterlife, like other buried ancient Egyptian ships. The Khufu ship is one of antiquity's oldest, largest, and best-preserved ships. It is 43.4 meters long and 5.9 meters wide, and it has been identified as the world's oldest undamaged ship. It has been hailed as a masterpiece of woodcraft that could still sail today if placed on a lake or river. The ship was kept in the Giza Solar Boat Museum until August 2021, when it was moved to the Grand Egyptian Museum. An obelisk is a stone rectangular pillar with a pointed top forming a pyramidion, set on a base, erected to honor the gods and memorialize an individual or event. The fifth dynasty's kings constructed the monolithic obelisk in honor of the sun deity, Re. These memorial constructions were thought to attract the sun's reviving rays, allowing the deceased to be resurrected. The early obelisks are supposed to have acted as a type of training for working in stone on gigantic tasks, which was a prerequisite for pyramid construction. Many people believe that the position and height of obelisks were linked to the sun. The monuments were frequently arranged in traditional designs that commemorated the sun's rising and setting. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen, which looks into scientists' terrifying new discovery under Sahara Desert. As always, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos.